beef. Why do you have such a problem with me? Can we get the real Andy? I would prefer the real Andy. Oh, let's get the real Max. I'll take off my mask when you take off your mask, brother. Because um, you, uh, who's your who's your new favorite YouTuber, Ian, that wanted to to be on the show with us? Uh, the the Madman, <laughs> the Madman, Mad Movie Man. Let's bring on Max Movies because he scares the living shit out of me. Hold <laughs> on. Oh wow! Uh, Mad Max says, uh, "I think you should, uh, I think you should apologize." Right? I'm sitting here in a goddamn. Hey. Torn down pool house. I don't even know who you are. Torn apart. Okay. It's torn apart because I'm remodeling on my seventy dollars webcam. Okay. I'm no better than you. I'm sorry, but don't you guys find it kind of creepy that a forty-year-old man? To me, it's funny. He's a, he's a YouTuber. He wears a Doctor Doom mask. Interview Tommy in all of their videos because they're afraid to show their pale white face. I don't know. That seems a little suspicious to me. Yeah, yeah. Let me get Max in here. Oh, no, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no. Oh, no. I I should never have allowed it to happen. I'm already I'm already regretting it. No, what? especially some dude just wearing a mask all the time screaming at the camera. Mad Max is here. Never thought I'd see you in my chat. Great costume drunk. Thanks. What a, what a, uh, Rich, what a, long okay. time, please take off your shirt and show us some saggy melon. Yeah! And please, with some Finnegan Fox enthusiasm, yes! show us on the floor. Oh, God, I see what you did there. You son. I like saggy melon. Oh, about the, there the, you the, go. Season. But, like, it just uh -oh. uh, Hard at work. Oh, this is, this is you hard done, at you work. You messed what? up now. Saggy, hold on. Go get your, go get your boss. Go get your boss. I'm caught. I need well, your clout. Me, I need your clout. Oh wow! Ooh. I'm at work. You see, I'm, I'm working. I'm trying to get end ready. The get ready to for go the live now. While I'm get, trying to get my job there's a done. reason for that. Uh, get ready for the cancellation live oh, in yeah, person. Get ready for the cancellation. Yeah, you are about to get canceled. <laughs> you know, you already know. Mom. Yes, honey. It happened again. Did you have your mask on? I always have my mask on. Oh, I'm not I, one. I already hold. I, I was watching your other stream. You're like, I hope someone shows up. I'm. I'm. Listen. I'm backing down. I. I don't have. I. I. I, I can't. I can't take the melons. This. You don't want this. You don't want no, this. No. You don't. Want I don't know. Effects. You don't. I know. You're stocking shelves. Oh wow. That's you're smoke. You do not want to mess with. See, the accusations were false. Someone said you're doing a lot of text in network. And she's stalking. Do I text that word? Get right, because this is my job. No, I'm no, I. While we're talking, so you, know the, yeah, you know what the you know what the you know what the you know what the reality is. She was texting, watching YouTube, and then she's like, "I'm going live. I better stock shelves." Who <laughs> guess Tommy Teleriso. 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 Oh my god! All right, all right, all right. Restart yes, the stream. Restart. Restart. Uh, right. Nice chat oh. with you. I'll see you guys later. Uh, uh, Jeremy, uh, I, knew, I just reached 5K. Well, congratulations. <laughs> oh, thank Wait, you. It really doesn't well, matter. While you're here, uh, if you'd like to consider memberships, it's uh, only 99 cents. Uh, <laughs> rip away, my friend. Rip away. Movie Madness Entertainment. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Man, my lighting's off. I don't know what the hell. Welcome. 14 viewers we're gonna have some fun tonight today to not tonight this afternoon i just got out of work uh member streams will be later hold on a second it's it's still dark in here oh that that makes it worse what the hell shit shit all right not uh, what is going on with my it, green screen in the middle of the day, I guess. Green screen in the middle of the day. Okay, what's this video about? Well, uh, oh, cool. I just got out of work. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, listen, Star Wars fans are smarter than Josh. People know what he's up to, and he got delivered a huge... I've never seen so many L's in a live stream chat as that was on Nerd Theory. 
there's a reason I'm not attacking women. You know, they say um, they say male feminists are cringe, right? Right, Tony? Well, what's the equivalent to a male feminist is a pick me girl that says, I'm not like the other girls. I defend you men like to an obnoxious and disgusting degree where it's very obvious and there's a there's a lot of uh there's a lot of attention you get doing that. I'm not saying it's a grift. Yeah, it is a grift. Uh when the green screen is simply my green my Tuesday is doing good today. But <clears throat> I think everyone knows what Josh is doing with this uh telegraphed I can't talk about Star Wars anymore because it upsets me, but I have been talking about it like four video, four streams now, two live streams, maybe more videos. It's so abusive. It's all a grift, Nerdette. Everything's a grift. Okay, hey, Nerdette, hope you're doing good. Um, well, the latest super grifter. Yes, in, in Nerdette, you may be surprised that Josh from the Den of Nerds is even cringier than Geeks and Gamers now. Even cringier. And I almost dare to say, I think Josh is also a pick-me girl. I'm not like the other nerds. I'm not like the other nerds. Uh, I, 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 I'm being attacked because I don't. I'm just critical. All right. Uh, turning. Tony says, no worries. I've busted Melanie Mac for lying in a video a while back. Well, she's been popping up in my feed because she's doing the typical anti-SJW stuff. And we know what she's doing. Like, oh, they hate men. They hate men. Uh, yes. Hey, Kavari. Remember to smash the like button for uh, solo vids. I'm still going to do MME Live later. And honestly, I don't know what to do. I need you guys to help me because... I've been doing my my pre-record vids and the engagement is low and the views are low, like 100 views based on what we get on the live streams. I mean, I'm still going to do it, but would you rather me just, I would, I could have done this video pre-recorded, but I thought maybe it'd be better if I did it live. So I need your feedback. Um, Yeah. The real Bumbles. If Josh had just done a tweet saying, hey, Andrew's not for me and I'm probably not going to make videos on it and really talk about it and left it, that'd be fine. But he did not because we know we know what the grift is. I'm so abused by Star Wars. It's so bad that I have to talk about it all the time. Yeah, get back to work, Tony. Get back to work. But the Nerd Theory audience wasn't having it, you know. That's not going to happen anymore, Chubby Teddy. Uh, the super chats have done have stopped flowing in. Where is Saggy? Uh, she's doing her own thing right now. I think she's streaming as well. Let's get to the reaction. We're not going to watch the whole video, but even uh, even Star Wars theories, like no, that's too early to judge. And I we're going to look at the chat because the live stream chat delivered him so many L's that I honestly think, and I'm not trying, this is the other thing. Everyone wants to be canceled. Everyone wants to be attacked. I think based on the reception of the nerd theory audience, uh, Star Wars theory should get another co-host. You know what, Josh? We're, we care about your mental health. We're going to find someone else to do nerd theory. I mean, I think it's that easy. I think he should be replaced. I'm actually, I'm calling for it. For your for your own good, Josh, we care so much about you that you should be taken off nerd theory and someone that really likes talking about Star Wars more than you. You know, maybe get Star Wars explained or something. I don't know. Anyone would be better than the generic den of nerds. Um. Andor is pretty cool. Did the flashbacks are, are before the Clone Wars? I don't know. I don't know. Let's get let's get to the reaction here. You'll see. Again, 
they do it, well you know star wars theory is complicit in this clickbait too because if if you look at the actual um video in the thumbnail it says josh is goodbye to star wars even though he's gonna be here every week what the fuck is this i did yeah i already disliked it i'm sorry and i am subscribed i disliked it i'm like this is this is emotional manipulation to your audience if it really is that bad that you don't you know don't talk it's, i'm not gonna say this isn't for you leave but if you're gonna if you're gonna be this much of a Karen on on it and get up on a soapbox I'm like I'm done, it's, it's social media disease. If you really don't like it, move the f on. There's enough Star Wars out there. Uh, hey Jake Casali, hey figure drawing. Uh, he is way overreacting, and it's a show. He's not being genuine. I know it can be subjective, but we all know what the F he's doing. Yes. Click baited the stream just to get attention. But this is a YouTuber problem, too. Thank you, PS Gamer Guy76. Absolutely. I can't I can't hold it in, is my issue here. All right, let's get let's get a little bit to this reaction here for the super cringe. And honestly, I, I've been consistent. I, I watched a Jeremy video today because I've been looking for content and his his uh take on on Andrew was pretty legit for the most part until he got to the identity politics at the end. But the majority of his video was way superior than Josh's complaining like a, a little child, like a man baby. It's so and I guess he could say he's being sarcastic when he says, I don't like stories on Twitter. You know, uh, I wonder what MME would be like if the Mika was released. I wonder that too, Chubby Teddy. Please don't mention it again. I'm done with Amiko. I'm done with Amiko. I want it to die. Now, that's something you could say is dead all the time, and I would believe it. Um, let me see here. Thank you. I, I, I am professional. I, I agree. Uh, he knows he can still make Star Wars videos if he doesn't like... I'm calling for him to be replaced. You know, unless this is just for clicks, which we know it is. Joel Jensen, I agree, Max. How can you do a Star Wars podcast and not talk about Star Wars or only talk about it? Well, even if he does, and he's like, I don't really like talking about it, but I'm still going to show up every week. That's bullshit. That's lame as, lame as F. You know, all right, let's react here. Because holy cow, that that intro. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another Monday here on Nerd Theory. Josh, what's going on, baby? What's up, brother? Um, first of all, that I must have the volume up really loud because holy cow, that that intro blew my ears right out. I wonder if anybody else is is that. Just like every week, do we like destroy your guys' ears <laughs> before the show starts or something? Or maybe it was just me. I, I might have had the, the volume up. Uh, to get that on the playback. Chat, do we blow up your guys' ears? Well, we well, Voltaire325, it's the way of the internet. You got to make a big thing about of everything. Um, Let me see. The few, first three episodes were like a powder keg. The slow build of tension had me on the edge. The whole three episodes... Till it finally exploded in that action scene in episode three. I loved it. Okay. And we're going to get to when he starts talking. As soon as he starts doing his spiel, where everyone knows what's coming. Everyone knows what's coming because he won't stop. I, I can't. I don't want to talk about Star Wars. So I've talked about it every day now because I'm talking about not talking about it. It's like the dumbest thing ever. You get more consistency out of Geeks and Gamers. Every, every week when we do that? Yeah, now I feel a little bad. Maybe once I got this Go XLR thing, it uh, changed it's, a lot of mm, volume. Yeah. Inputs. I don't know. Is the uh, audio yeah, still maybe, coming in maybe. okay for me? Um, but I'm good. You know, I'm sure You know, we'll get into the how I'm not Very good uh, with Star Wars. But uh, 
the You're COD thing with Star Wars. Okay. Thing was cool. Played the beta a little bit over the weekend. That was fun. I saw you playing a little bit. What do you think? I like it, man. It was good. I'm just I I like Warzone, so I'm waiting for Warzone to come out because I'm mm -hmm. not the best player, but with Warzone, I, I find I have more fun with my boys, and uh, yeah, so I'm waiting for that. Right on. Yeah, when does that one? Is that going to come out like October? All right, come on, November come on. 14 or something. Come on, get to the point. Okay. Dude, yeah, it, gonna, like next few months going to be crazy for gaming. Yeah. Yes. Modern Warfare 2 full game, and then good, good analogy. Uh, the real Bumbles. It's like saying, hey, I'm going to diet for my health and eating pizza every day. Yeah, I have to take a break from Star Wars, but I'm still going to show up for a, for a stream, for a podcast that I'm really not like to talk about Star Wars. Then why are you doing it? <laughs> God of War, Ragnarok, and then Warzone for Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, that's sick. Uh, yeah, it feels smooth. Like it, I, it reminded me of the old Modern Warfare, like the first one. Um, I feel like it's a little bit slower than the last COD that uh, it is. Yeah, hey, that Samir, Warzone is on and everything like that. But uh, live stream. yeah, I'm excited. It's pretty cool. I also played the shit out of this Gundam game over the weekend, dude. And I've been liking that. It's like a Gundam version of uh, Overwatch, and so I was having fun with that. But yeah, ended up having a good weekend. That's good. Um, so before we hopped on the stream, Josh was talking about how he uploaded a video last week, and I watched it. And I gave my take on it on the gaming channel, and um, me too. But I guess it like blew up or something. And you were telling me, and and, and we're like, let's just save it for the stream. This so is the like, real reason he did save it for the stream. You know, <laughs> this is what he really wants. He wants all this manufactured attention. He's very, very much a drama, uh, drama queen. I, I'm so. It was so abusive, and then, and then, and then the fans called me out for my stupid take. Not and then calling them to toxic positive, toxic positivity, which people were overusing as well. Uh, yeah, Brian, Josh crying. He's such a he's such a wuss. You know, I would never, never do something that I didn't like just to do it. Oh yeah, well I actually Brian. I was kind of thinking that in my head, but I didn't want to throw any. <laughs> uh, I didn't want to say it. Chubby Teddy wants the productions. Oh, Star Wars Theory guy is on this. Josh should shave his head and put his head up Star Wars Theory's head so they can fully make an ass out of themselves. I think that's what already I'm what I'm watching. All right. You, Panic, you have uh, to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I don't know if see. it blew up. I mean, it obviously performed well. It did Let me good see views, the... I think, because I think almost anything Andrew right. at the time was, was going to be doing the well, but it was also yet. like really, you know, like baity on the surface level because I was like, I'm done with Star Wars. You know what I mean? And um, But it ended up being a popular video. But I think the when I watched That's it. the real reason you did it and not because Andor's bad. The real reason you did it, people reveal a lot about themselves when they start talking and right away, what comes up first? Well, it didn't blow up. It kind of it kind of shows, it kind of revealed that maybe he wanted it to. It did good. And that's why he keeps talking about it. Talking about something that he doesn't want to talk. Yes, he, he basically admitted as much. But I'm, I kick his ass to the curb. Uh, Star Wars is for people who don't fish. And I just got a rod, bitch. Nerd theory. <laughs> All right. Because, like, I know you probably have this thing, too, where sometimes, like, I'll record a video. I pass it off to my editor. And I'm like, I really have no idea How what the, that's going to end up does looking he like. he have an editor? He's only over 130K, you know? I do everything myself here except for Brian with the streams and the and the you know except for handling the streams. But imagine having an editor and persons people that do your thumbnails and then still being this generic and lame. Yeah. Um being like, or even if I sounded coherent, you know what I mean? Like, did I ramble? Like, was I making good points? Yeah, sometimes you're just in the moment and you're like, Yeah. And you watch it back and you're like, what am I even saying? Yeah. Well, I was 
lucky and grateful that that one actually to me felt like a pretty good video it's cohesive it kind of kind of lays it all out there with how i'm feeling but i think the, the yes. bottom line uh and i think a lot of people have sort of yeah, called me on this and i've thought about it a lot and this is sort of a hard thing to admit um but it's like i don't like stories oh you don't i don't like stories and you just all like, i like getting slashed up ca cameos He's, no, now, now, now he's playing it off like it's sarcastic. Uh, okay, the L's didn't start yet. I, I was watching this earlier. I want, I want you to see all the L's. Sabers, the fours. You know what I mean? Like everybody showing up all at once. I can't believe that there weren't any lightsabers, Jedi, Sith coming out. I kept looking for them to come through doorways. You know, jump from ceilings and and do something like that. Uh, and at the end of the day, Andor is just a little show about, um, about you know, Cassie and Andor. Yeah. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, um, yeah, to me, Andor doesn't feel like Star Wars. At least it doesn't give me the feeling of, oh, shit, like this is the future. Oh, this is what I else? want from Star Wars. Um, and I think that because I am just I am literally so jaded at this point after Whoa. just a lot of different things that have happened. Like, I, I can't be nice about it as far as, like, I just kind of decided I think the best thing for me to do is, like, I'm not going to do wash parties for it. Oh, I'm not going to do breakdown everybody. videos for it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'll wait, talk sorry, about it here sorry. and also watch the show to, like, be able to talk about it here and, you know, engage there. No, the L's but I just want to limit starting. my personal. L, L, L. Um, just take the L. Like, relationship with Star it's Wars for for a little while. You know what I mean? And L, L, I can L, totally L, L, admit, L. by the way, that a lot of this is me. You know what I mean? And I feel like it's honestly been a, a long time coming because even on this show, over L, uh, the L, past L. couple of months, I've sort of People started to sour. And, you know, Kenobi was a very, very difficult show for me as a fan uh, to, to get through. Um, and so I don't know if it's maybe just a little bit of that Oh my when God. it comes to Andor, but um, I, I, it's hard to read. Yeah, I, just, watch I had a moment where I realized if every time I stream about this, every video I'm going to make about this, I'm going to come across so bitter and just you like already are. Negative. He already is because he keeps talking about not wanting to talk about it. And yes, the the L's were were flowing. Look, look at all the L's. Look at all the L's there. To be honest, like there are a lot of channels that sort of, you know, corner the market on right, and I'm just like, that's not really what I want to do with the channel. It's not really what I want to do. But with you the brand. are, so and you are it's doing better. Um, that I kind of just take a step back, and, and so that's kind of what the I, video I'm is, and that's kind of where I'm at and being with it, which is ironic stream. because Andor is arguably way better than Kenobi and Boba, but it is also the show that kind of L broke L me L personally. L L L L L. So. Okay. They I mean, you're totally entitled to your opinion. I see your points of view and things, and I also clickbaited the hell yes. out of the stream. Well, see? not not really. Well, we, you see, Star Wars Theory knows what he's doing, too. Honestly, um, there's not... there. Andor was a great three episodes, but there's not a lot to deep dive on or to theorize on when your channel's called Star Wars Theory. So that's why they're doing these theatrics. These telegraph theatrics. Yeah, we clickbaited the shit out of this. We're playing with your emotions. We're talking about not liking Star Wars or to like talking about Star Wars by talking about Star Wars and, you know, and consistently saying, how long will he pull, you know, will he pull, will he extend this publicity stunt? It's just publicity, you know, it's working and we're part of the problem. But people need to know the truth about this douche. I'm sorry. It's so, so cringe. And I have no, no respect for uh, people that are in a, a position of privilege and then complain about it. Uh, what a tool, yes. Uh, oh, hey, Ramblin' Man. Hey, brother. Hey, we hope you're feeling better. Uh, I can hijack your channel again, brah, <laughs> if if you want. And then if you can, if you're if you're feeling good enough, I would love for a classic Rambleman Rambleman question topic in the members' mailbag. We miss you. 
We love you. Hope you're doing well. Um, yes, a Star Wars show with Star Wars characters set in a Star Wars universe does not have a Star Wars connections in it. What WTF? My head hurts. It's it's just the the life of a YouTuber. It's not isolated to them. The bigs always play these shenanigans to play with your emotions, to play with the audience. It's attention seeking, and it's an, it's a, a social media problem. You know, we'll we'll only watch to like twelve minutes. We'll. I just now changed the title to Josh's Goodbye to Star Wars and uh, changed the <laughs> yeah, thumbnail yeah. to your face. <laughs> you were just yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, hey, whatever. Um, yeah. It's kind of true. You're, you're done. So yeah. my, my take on it is, again, totally valid points. Um, I think it's too early to tell, first of all. And I think that the show has really good potential to warm up and to go to a really interesting place. I agree the first three episodes were boring as hell. I mean, I talked to a lot of people and they were just like, I couldn't even get through it. Like, I fell asleep. Mm -hmm. um, there were moments that were really exciting. Not really exciting. There were moments that were, in comparison to the rest of the show, exciting. I felt like it dragged on a lot. For things that didn't really matter, it built character development for characters that were just, like, going to die. Um, uh, we don't know that yet. But I think the I think, delivery I was think well. all I, think the I don't see like a wasted character in there. They were all important. They all seemed like characters. Sometimes with these, especially in the sequel trilogy, there's characters that are introduced that don't really justify their spot in the story. They're just there. Every character in here so far, I feel is justified. And does a great part. And it all comes together. Hey, what's up, Blinded Braille? Remember, if you're just getting here, to smash the like button uh, for more content. I was going to do this pre-recorded. But I, you know what? I am proud of the Star Wars community for rejecting these theatrics. And we know what you're doing. And it's a grift. And he, you must know, I will always put the disclaimer about Josh, that he is developing a comic which I appreciate, but it benefits him greatly to get on the side of things suck when you're promoting a product because that is the best marketing. Listen, the best marketing plan is to have something that changes the industry. But if you don't have something that changes the industry and is a revelation of content and a new IP, then the next best thing is to try to now i wouldn't do this but bash something else while promoting your own product you know um yes yeah it is it is ridiculous blinded and uh i miss you brother we need to get you back on the i need to steal you away back from tony you know <laughs> yes uh, all right, let's watch a little bit more of this, and then we'll get to the pick me girls, which I I think I think uh, Josh is also a pick me girl. I believe so. I'm not like the other nerd channels. I'm not a hater, but I you know all your toxic positivity. <laughs> oh, that's why you're here. You're defecting back to the MMB instead of the uh, the geek getaway. Awesome, great decision. Hello, Rhea. Hello, Rhea. Okay. <laughs> Photography was well. I think the acting was really well done. Music was okay. Uh, and it, it it delivered it really nicely, I think, um, for what they were trying to do. And this is like a like a prologue, I feel like, mm -hmm. to the show. So once I saw the fact that there was uh, the Separatist... Did you see my video at all? L, 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 I don't think I watched the most recent one. Okay, so there's a Separatist logo on the dudes that crash landed. Okay. And if, you, if you don't think these, um, if you don't think that these uh, L's are warranted, consider that he's on a million sub channel and he's still only, he's still at the same sub count that he was before. That kind of tells you that people aren't, you know, they're not buying what you're selling. That's an amazing opportunity, a weekly show to cross promotion 
and Josh isn't growing. I mean, that's the real exposure there. Why isn't Josh growing when he collaborates with Star Wars Theory on a Star Wars show? You know, that is why... Oh, hey, Echo Base Nick. I get where he's coming from. I thought Andor was boring as F as well, but I think it has potential moving forward. Yeah, but are you making cringe ass videos that saying you're done with you can't stand talking about Star Wars while talking about Star Wars for three you know for two live streams and four videos, Nick? Saying you saying it, it's not fun for you to talk about Star Wars, but then you're on a weekly Star Wars show. I don't see that coming from Echo Base. You might complain, but not you know, not be like a, a drama queen and. In in uh, this uh, all this emotional manipulation and theatrics, it's cringe. Because Star Wars theory actually theorizes. Yeah, well, that's basically what he did, Nick. Yeah, you're a Star Wars channel, right? But the. <laughs> Listen, all I'm saying, Nick, is there's a reason his channel ain't growing. There might be reasons my channel wasn't growing either. My particular take right now is that I need to make more content to compete with the others. The others consistently put out content, and that's a way to compete. Um, and or interested me with the Blade Runner vibes. Great actors, too. Okay, let's get to 10 minutes. Uh, I think he has some talent. I'm not like a huge fan of him. I am subscribed. I want to see, I want to see the, um, his, his, uh, fan film completed. Is Josh co coping? No, he knows it. This is just for, this is just for attention. Just for attention. The monsters will be peak cinema. I hope so. Yeah, we got to do more content, Nick. You know, you got to give more hot takes, and not and you know be genuine, not manufactured. Mm -hmm. Confederacy of independent systems. So Dooku's, uh, what what Dooku is controlling? Mm -hmm. Why the hell do those guys have that logo? Okay, they crash landed, and then when Marva comes in there, Andor's mom, she's like, "These are rebel soldiers." Or he rebel doesn't really pilots. seem interested right here. What? Uh, sorry, Republic pilots. Why are these Republic pilots having CIS logos on them? So my thoughts and a lot of people's thoughts are maybe that this is a, a show telling. He's checked out. Maybe you need to you know get another job. I don't know. Doesn't he look checked out there? All right. I think that's enough of this. It's okay to dislike Andrew, but why quit something you poured so much money into? I mean, people complaining about talking about nerd stuff, and your channel is called The Den of Nerds. You know? <laughs> What else are you going to And then he's also complaining about She-Hulk as well, like the MCU too. What's going to be left from the talk? Go ahead. Go down this path. Shit. What do you do with, with when during the day when it messes with your green screen? All right. Now this, this individual, he does look bored. He does look bored. Now this individual, I believe, is what... Uh, uh, oh, oh, Brian's calling himself out. Don't worry, Josh. I said the thing, same thing about Snyder, but I still talk about it all the time. <laughs> well, to be fair, you start gaming or something. She-Hulk is fun. Uh, Samir says, I feel like Andor's self-report basically saying, I find maturely written characters uninteresting because new, no pew-pew lasers. Yes. Uh... I have fun with it, whether I'm bitching about Disney Star Wars or giving it praise. That's good. That's good. All right. Let me bring up this uh, pick me girl. Melanie Mac, go boom. Melanie Mac. I don't. 
I was I would like more consistency in calling out cringe. I really would. And the this um this trendy thing to do on the internet is just like Nick, I know some for for Nick, I, I know your I know your politics and your stances, okay? You am am I wrong to say that you find male feminists cringe? If you find male feminists cringe, then how come all these pick me girls get a pass that are this, you know, vomit inducing cringe over uh, defending men, defending men, just like a male feminist goes overboard defending women. Right? Yes. What do you call cringe? What if you come off as cringe by calling out cringe? Then someone should someone should react to me and say I'm cringe then. <laughs> so here's the title. This it's actually very sad how much just titling your video. Um am just like this because men bad. You know, she, we we know what's happening here with just the title. Amazon scraps Conan because men bad. And, oh, we do? Okay. All right. We're not going to watch a lot of it. She's been popping up on my feed for some reason. And I think it's because she's transitioned into the the griff that keeps on giving is uh, is is going the pick me route in being disgustingly defensive of... Uh, male chauvinists or, or or overly defensive of men to an obnoxious degree men being defended too but come on yes exactly see you notice there that because she transitioned she transitioned to this type of content recently and like like all all that happened what what site is she starting to cover bounding in the comics Bounding in the comics. Okay, here we go. The days when our favorite properties would be announced as having a TV show or a movie and we'd be all excited no, I didn't. Oh. about it. Remember that? Those days are long gone because we've seen... No, they're not. They're right here. They're right here. There's just too much money to be made off of, you know, defending men on the internet because... That's where the majority of the men that can't handle social interaction and have bad social skills congregate. And there's a pandemic of lonely men that want to blame other people for their loneliness and miserable status in life. That's why it works so much on the internet. You want to find reasons why you, your, your life isn't great? You blame other people. You blame more successful people. Okay. Uh, let me get to Snyder Steppenwolf here. I don't understand why people have issues with other not liking She-Hulk. She-Hulk ain't a good show. It's not a bad show. I don't have an issue with people not liking it. Um, let me see. If she steps out of the line with movie medicine and all the incel fans will be trashing her. It's sad. Uh, bounding the comics. Yes. She's making that G fill money though. Where? Where's the, Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. Don't say that, Brian. You're, you are important. You're a great person. Don't, you know, stop putting yourself down. Okay. It wasn't that comment. I don't know. I mean, hold on. Which there is a super chat option. Not that I'm not that I'm shaming you, but I try to go to comments. But if it starts to be where I have to find it, there's a lot of people commenting right now. I can't find it. Retype it. Retype it. That's that'll be easier for me. Okay, just copy and paste. All right, let's get back to the pick me girl. Besides Josh. So many of our favorite fandoms just absolutely butchered that now 
we're under the impression that some things are better left untouched. And this is an example of one of those things. Let me get, dive into today's topic. So this comes to us from Bounding Into Ooh. Comics, who says, New report Very innovative, Prime Melanie. Video abandoned a Conan the Barbarian TV series because of toxic masculinity. Okay, well, better abandoning it than completely uprooting it and changing it like a certain cartoon did. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what's mind-boggling what, about it, when you take a franchise that is built on being a power fantasy in this case this is a male power fantasy uh and then you want to complain about toxic masculinity and you think masculinity is inherently toxic then no you're not going to be able to produce anything that anybody wants to watch so no i didn't re- abandon it i only so watched let's this. see what this says i only watched as far as to know that i might want to react to it and that she was uh, reading Bounding the Comics. But if they actually abandoned the project because it's a masculine man, that is bullshit. So I will agree with her there. But then the He-Man Revelations comment is absolutely bullshit because He-Man was still... Uh, yeah, I okay. Well, let's see if she goes to the facts. This is Bounding in the Comics. You know, they do uh, clickbaity headlines. Let's see if... Yeah, she is. Absolutely. And it, what's the the other reason I'm highlighting her in this stream is, you know, we lost another one to the pick me girls. <laughs> I'm not like the other girls. I defend men at all costs, just like uh, the opposite of a male feminist, you know? All right. But I want to see why they actually canceled the show too. the actual truth of the matter. Or is this an interpretation from a biased site? That does anti SJW content. A new report claims that Prime Video abandoned a Conan the Barbarian TV series due to toxic masculinity. A Conan the Barbarian TV series was announced by Deadline back in 2018. Okay. In the initial announcement, it was revealed that current House of the Dragon showrunner Ryan Condal was behind the series. He was also joined by House of the Dragon sh- showrunner and Game of Thrones director Miguel. I can't pronounce that. They detailed the series would retell Conan's origins, of course, because everybody is obsessed with doing origin stories. But here's the thing is, I am under the impression now that the reason why so many of these mainstream outlets or, or wherever they be like movie production companies or even video games, they love to tell origin stories. And the reason why is because they want to change the stories. No, they, it's not really about, no, oh, that's let's find thing. out what made them tick. Let's find out what made them who they are. You know, I'm, I can go on tangents about Tomb Raider. It's not about that for them. They don't care about that. You so know, whenever what? I you know, see, I origin mean, it's, st- it's subjective. But the reality of of why they go back to origin and reboots is you have a product on the shelf. Uh, Take Batman and the Joker. Okay. When you go down the line and you go more sequels, what do you do when you're done with the Joker? You go to lesser known characters. The money goes down. And then what happens when people flip out and the and the, the consumers flip out, I like this version better. Well, guess what? Now you have, say they make they make another Batman movie. Do you know what that actually does for the back catalog as well? Not only do you sell Matt Reeves Batman here, but you also have a Zack Snyder Batman on the shelf, and you have a Christopher Nolan Batman, and you have a Tim Burton Batman. So you have Batman, 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 all different versions. So it makes a lot of sense. And the reason that even um, movie companies, and this happens a lot in toy lines, they'll start a toy line and they never get to all the characters in the line. They just reboot and start again fresh from the characters that sell the most. You know, that's why it happens. And it's easier to write an origin than a sequel. Or a prequel, I believe, in my opinion. Um, the Tomb Raider reboot. The br- to be brutally honest, 
It's the SJW tone of your show that has caused your decline. I'm not in decline. Um, I've been making less content than I did a month ago. I'm not growing as much. Uh, I've been trying different things, you know, with the pre-recorded vids about just movie topics. And I'm still going to do them, but they don't go garner as much interest as my live streams. I think you guys like interacting on the live streams better. Um, okay. I don't follow. I don't follow any any team, Zeno. I don't follow any team. I'm not an SJW. I'm not an SJW. I'm just not a. I'm just not a team player. I don't play team sports. I criticize everyone, and that doesn't make you a lot of friends. Look what I did yesterday, Zeno. I made a video that you probably wouldn't like, where I criticized about. Why? But you do have too many SJW topics, and bring on some true on bring on some true believers, and I bring on some people that th that don't. You too. You know. Okay. I agree with this, Nerdette. Yes. I mean, <laughs> what have my recent videos been? This one is a, is about calling him out by pulling a publicity stunt for, for not being genuine. What's SJW about that? It's just criticism. Everything's an attack. Everything is a, a cancellation attempt. <laughs> You know, the, I, I am going to do a separate pre-recorded of it. I am getting so annoyed with everything. People used to just get fired back in the day or they just you know, like got ghosted where no no social media wasn't a thing. Now, because of social media, everyone's everyone is being uh, canceled or attacked. You really want to I don't want anyone to be attacked for real. You really want to know what an attack is there? No. An attack, an attack, an attack, I'm being canceled. You know, I don't want to lose my job, but if I lose my job, I'm not going to say I was can I was canceled, I was fired. You know? This is the new trendy thing to do. Uh, but saying, I, I, I just don't, I immediately do not believe uh, this headline here, that it was canceled because Conan's masculine. I don't think you would even consider Conan a property unless you're thinking about a masculine man that's built, you know. Uh, Melanie Mac go boom. Melanie Mac go boom. The story now, after having experienced everything we've seen with Tomb Raider and a number of other things, now this is code word for... What happened with the Tomb Raider movie? She was dressed more appropriate for Tomb Raiding. What the hell is that? Tomb Raider wasn't woke. Is she talking about the game? Even the game was like... Uh, that's what I'm saying. Oh, people are upset. People are upset. You're fired. You're fired. A... Uh complete retelling this is a code word for uprooting this is a code she's word. been watching this she's been what she's indoctrinated she's been watching she's been watching geeks and gamers she's been watching nerd erotic code words code words yes it is <laughs> uh xeno's her She's got more subs than she's ever had, and she's got better views. I know you're a fan of Ethan, and I, I don't hate Ethan, but you're <laughs> I think you're listening to him too much. <laughs> uh, a reboot or retelling is coded for we're gonna s they just wanna they just wanna push stuff in your media just to mess with you, not to make money. That is the dumbest thing ever. Every the world revolves around money. The world revolves around money. Yes, they're trendy things to do. Oh, your free member thingy. Let's let's look at Vince's member member thingy. Hold on. 
Let me bring up the... I still got a... This was supposed to be a 30-minute stream, uh, but I'm having fun talking with you all. And then I got to get ready for MME later with me and Brian for movie topics. Uh, let me see here. Melanie Mac, go by for now. Uh, yeah, Star Wars Santa. I'd love to talk to you. Hey, Star Wars Santa, we could get you on the show, man. I like the, you know, I see I see you uh, pretty consistently streaming about Star Wars. I'd love to talk to you about Andor. Uh, no, I'm not the opposite of the, I'm in the middle. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care what anyone says. All right, let's get, I don't, I don't need, I, I allow, uh, I, I applaud criticism of me, constructive criticism, but that doesn't mean I'm going to listen to your, uh, listen to your, uh, critique of me. I respect it. I disagree. I am not. Do you see me actually trying to cancel people or criticize them? I excessively criticize them. That's not cancel. All right, yes, Star Wars Santa, absolutely. Um, Voltaire says, "Listen, if you want the proof, the proof is in the in the live chat. I have so many differences of opinions here. If I was just a typical SJW, Brian, you wouldn't see this variety of opinions." I didn't. You're. Don't straw man me, Zeno. You're saying I didn't call you a mindless Ethan drone. I said you might be listening to his talking points too much because I know he was on my channel here and on his saying that about Nerdette. But she, I didn't call you a drone. F off with this SJW crap. <laughs> I'm going to call you later, Zeno. Actually, I'll call you before my nap, Zeno. <laughs> I don't care what it's considered. It's not. It could be conceived as an attack. It's not. Unless you're making up shit to try to harm someone. That could be. I think that's an attack. I guess it is subjective. But unless you're making stuff up. No. But here we got Vince. A member for, for 12 months. Wow. I really appreciate that Vince. Thank you so much. Shout out to Vince. Okay. Um, let me get back to... Because I also want to know about this too. I'm actually interested in the topic because I would love... Can you imagine uh, if you see the production value of some Amazon shows, what they could do for Conan? All right. For making into your own thing and uh erasing the past so that's what that is as he is driven out of his private pri tribal homelands and wanders the mysterious and treacherous world of civilization where he searches for purpose in a place that rejects him as a okay we're talking about snyder fans let me see what brian's saying say that the snyder fans who think saying something won't happen is an attack am i wrong um, when they, when they say someone is like what they do to James Gunn, I consider that an attack where they call him a certain thing that's not provable based on his old tweets. I think that's different than just criticizing. I think you could criticize Gunn and say his movies suck or something like that, even call it a dumpster fire. But then when you call him a word saying that he should, you know, that implying that he's done something based on his his old cringy tweets that's an attack yeah because you're you're suggesting he's he's done something illegal it's um it's uh what's the word that everyone like the anti sjw's like to overuse defamation that's an attack defamation is an attack yes S saying sjw is also overused just like woke and everything else Social justice warrior. I make a video. I react. I critique. We're going to go around the circles. I'm getting back to the video. <laughs> uh, okay. 
No, she, I don't think Chubby Teddy, I don't think, I think she's a, you know, I think she's a nice young lady that um, has a lot of opportunities. I feel, though, personally, without doing a deep dive into her channel, just based on her recent content, is uh, going the easy route. Easy route. And that's disappointing. All right. Mindless Savage. The report also specifically noted that this Conan the Barbarian series would be part of Jeff Bezos and Prime Video's answer to Game of Thrones with deadlines Nelly and Driva writing. Uh, the project falls into Amazon's push into big fantasy genre drama yeah, series. Yeah, that with sounds a great. In the I'm actually really upset that this is not going to happen now. Uh, I'm really upset that this is not going to happen. All right. Game of Thrones, which is similar enough what they try to do with Rings of Power and colossally failed. The Conan the Barbarian series never came to fruition at Amazon. And in 2020, producer Frederick Malmberg moved the project to Netflix, where he's working on oh. both live action and animated adaptations of the character. Or, you know, making an animated series where the main character is overshadowed and barely in it. Uh, that's, you know, that's, that's oh, here's the these days. A little over a year ago, Malmberg indicated that they had moved forward in the production of the live action series and had begun writing. I the give her props. She actually reads the whole article. Uh, Melanie Mac. Go, yeah, I, I agree. Yes, I agree. I could still criticize uh, pretty, pretty women, I guess. Uh, prison, <laughs> prison tattoos. Okay. I appreciate that. She reads the whole article. Uh, okay. Theories. Malmberg explained with Conan, I'm happy to say that we are writing. We are in development, which means we basically work with a writer who has written the first draft of the pilot of the series and then season overview. Now, hold up. Let's rewind a second, too, because I believe the initial plans here uh, for a writer, Nelly, this is a woman writing it. You know, why is it that a lot of people want to complain especially among the more woke uh outlets or of the woke i even i i hate even using that term i hate it but it's just where we're at but uh, of the the woke movement in general they don't like to see men write female characters for example uh, that's one of the big criticism with Lara Croft is because she was created by a man. But what uh, they also fail to realize is that she was written by a woman. Regardless, I don't even think that matters that I, much. I, actually, I think that a man can write. I, I think uh, I actually agree with her points here. I actually agree. <laughs> I actually agree with her points here. If there's if people are saying that it would be beneficial for a woman to write a woman character then the same can't the same be said about a man or vice versa but i'm not i'm not going to complain either way i think you know both uh he described uh i haven't gone in the full attack mode i didn't watch this ahead of time you know laura croft is being written by men I, I agree. I'm not I'm not gonna complain. If I hear do you see me complaining? Do you see me complaining about uh I said it's beneficial. I say it can be beneficial for um the represented character to be written by that that's you know a man, if it's a man, a woman, if it's a woman, if it's a minority character, it has a benefit of of being written by that, but I'm not going to complain about it though. Uh, but I, I agree with her. Magna Mac. I am not, I am not being, I am not. I think you're just trolling me. I think you're just trolling me. Face palm, face palm. Uh, okay. I think there's a benefit to that. 
but I'm not going to say this shouldn't happen. Conan is a misogynist and he should not be changed. I think that could be part of this character. No, I don't believe you. Magna Mac. <laughs> All right. We'll see. Write a story about a female character and a woman can write a story about a male character. But there, there is a double standard there. I uh, agree. This whole movement and where we've been. Absolutely. So, and, and honestly, when it comes to Conan, which is just a very hyper masculine male power fantasy dude, like I consider myself a tomboy and I don't even feel equipped for that. I think that in this kind of story, uh, you probably are going to want uh, more of a perspective that can definitely flesh out that There's... primal. Male so far, though, and it's not her fault, but the article hasn't backed up this claim that it scraps Conan because men bad. There's still nothing in this video and nothing in the article that justifies that. I still have no, no substance. Yeah, we don't want to be misogynistic, Brian. Definitely. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, Nerdette. I don't know. I'm more disappointed that is this still going to happen because I want more fantasy projects. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Calm down, everyone. <laughs> okay. Power fantasy a lot better uh, than... I don't know what Nellie looks like. Hopefully not a blue haired woman. There you go. <laughs> okay. So oh, are... you, know everything, you know, everything you need to know when someone says that I immediately, I immediately, their credibility drops a little bit more every time they say, Oh, it's going to be a blue hair. There's no proof of these claims and a woman still can write Conan. I think it would benefit for a man, but it doesn't have to be. I mean, if you're actually going <laughs> right, yes. Working together with Netflix team, obviously with the COOF, it's been a little tricky because everybody's working from home. It's all Zoom conferences and very difficult to get everyone aligned. Things are progressing, but as always, you want yes. them to progress faster than they do. But that's the world. Well, they let's live just in. let's just say if you're playing a poker face and then you throw out that insult, that pretty much shows which team you're on, in my opinion. Scroll up, my guy. What? Then, <laughs> but things are going well. He added. Why the series was moved from Amazon to Netflix was never really explained, but a new report from oh, the so, YouTube channel wait, wait. Midnight's Edge oh! claims that it was cut <laughs> from Amazon. Oh, there! Woo! We, fi we figured it out. They basically admitted in the article, oh my goodness. We bas They basically admitted, admitted in the article it was never explained why it was canceled, even though her title, and I got to look at the article if the if the article actually says because men bad. And then they source Midnight's Edge. The grift continues. Yes. Awesome. Pick hair is awesome, Nerdette. Oh, my goodness. That tells you everything. On due to toxic masculinity. First, Midnight's Edge founder. I don't even know if we need. I think we could. I did. I think we can actually, uh, I'd like you to have blue hair now, Brian. Yes. What are you talking about, elderly ladies and pink hair, Zeno? And there it is. Yes, we figured it out. <laughs> I don't know if we need to go any further, because basically that was the part of the article that says, even though our false claims are never substantiated, by an announcement that they canceled it because men bad. But according to Midnight's Edge. Dre 
explains that Amazon didn't just want a Game of Thrones competitor. They wanted to dominate the entire fantasy TV market. Oh, they're failing hard at that right now. He says Bezos wanted something which would enable Amazon to dominate the fantasy market the same way Game of Thrones had done for HBO. To make that dominance complete, though, they weren't looking for just one Game of Thrones, but two. One for the family market and one for a more adult market. One that would quite literally capture the exact Mm. same market that was engrossed in Game of Thrones. After detailing that the Lord of the Rings was their path to dominating the family market, uh, this guy details that Conan the Barbarian was their initial property to capture the more adult market. He explained Amazon wanted Lord of the Rings to capture the family market, but... To be their Game of Thrones, to take over the Game of Thrones market, they had something else in mind, mainly Conan the Barbarian. It was the perfect property to fill the same need as Game of Thrones. I respect her for reading the whole article. She's doing good, even though I don't agree with her opinions. Um, But she's doing good. And they had the perfect showrunner for it. One Ryan Condal, the then of Colony fame, uh, this guy details and the script he had written were extremely true to the original robert e howard stories and according to everyone who read them amazingly good well i mean hey a script that's actually very true to the original this is a good thing and if executed property uh, properly there's a reason why conan the barbarian is such a global icon as he is clearly they were doing something right with this character and something right with this story i'm not even super versed in conan myself but i know who he is everybody knows who he is so there's a reason for it and whenever you take these type of properties and you try to fit them into today's world there's no proof of that anywhere there's no proof of that There's no proof that they were doing that. I'm done. I'm done with this video. I got, you know, thank you for watching. I don't think there is any substance from that claim at all. uh, That, you know, it was canceled because men bad. The article even said as much. Bounding in a comic said this was never substantiated, but our source of Midnight's Edge. And that tells you everything you need to know. I hope you enjoyed this quick stream. Oh, wow. That dude, Vince. Let me see here. Hold on a second. Let me bring this up. Uh, I know you remember already. So let me see. Oh, wow. Thank you, Vince. Upgraded to my binge buddy. Thank you, Vince. I really appreciate that. Let me show. Now you're a binge buddy. Thank you, Vince. Thank you. I don't think she's a Karen. I think she's a nice lady. I think she's nice. Uh, I don't like all her opinions. No, I I said she had some points in there, Zeno. I said she had some points about how, like, social justice warriors say, this has to be written by a woman. If you're going to write a woman, it has to be written by a woman. Then why can't men say that, too? Why can't men say, and I totally agree with that, but I don't, I'm okay with women writing men and women, and I'm okay with men writing um, women and men and potentially minorities as well. If it's shown with some respect, but ultimately my bottom line is that there's great opportunities with getting the representation in all facets of the project and that that's where i'll stand but an sjw would go on a boycott if it's not meeting their expectations and i won't do that as long as the content's good i won't calling a woman with an opinion a karen is derogatory uh I don't see the need to go after people like this. Just be positive about what you like in hell with the rest. I, this is the first time I reacted to one of her videos, Brian. 
I didn't watch ahead of time. She's been popping up recently. And her takes were better than most. Her takes were better than most. And I'm interested to see what she has to say. I appreciate that she read the whole article. I think she had a slight, again, I don't know why I have to keep going uh, in circles here, but she said something I agree with. She said other things that I disagree with. And a lot of unsubstantiated claims and just regurgitated those unsubstantiated claims that Conan was canceled because men bad. There's no substance to that. Um, I think her voice is fine. Little movie therp says she's full of shit. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not good. Brian, you're so hyperbolic going after. I called her a pick me girl. Just like, just like people call people a male feminist. Maybe you think I'm a male feminist. Oh my God. Good night, everyone. Yes, I would. I'm. That's my main thing. I'm upset. The main thing I'm upset is that we're we might not get the Conan series. Oh my god, I'm ending. You're 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 all crazy. These conversations are stupid. Oh god, never mind. The <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm not saying there's anything real with being a male feminist. I'm saying people think male feminists can be cringe and can go overboard defending women when they don't need your defense or when they don't, it's not justified. Just like a pick me girl may go above and beyond to defend men where it's fucking cringe. That's all I'm saying. That's the consistency there.